Next, let us do a very important theorem. The theorem says that every paracompact regular space is normal. Before proceeding for the proof, let me just again remind you what is a normal space. As you have learned in your first semester, a space X is said to be normal if for any two disjoint closed subsets F and F star of the space X, there exist disjoint open subsets U and B of X such that F is a subset of U and F star is a subset of B. So, let us now proceed for the proof of the theorem. We take a space which is paracompact and regular. To prove that X is normal. So our aim is to prove that X is normal. In order to prove that the space X is normal, we will first take two disjoint closed subsets of X and we will try to find two disjoint open subsets of X containing the two sets each. So let F and F star be two disjoint close subsets of X. In order to prove that X is normal, we are now going to find two open disjoint subsets U and B of X such that F is a subset of U and F star is a subset of B. Let's see how we do it. Okay. Now for, a, for each element X of the set F, the set X minus F star is an open set containing the point X. You may ask why X minus F star is open and why it contains X. Let me explain you that step. We know that F is a closed set. F star is also a closed set. Since the complement of a closed set is an open set, therefore X minus F star, which is the complement of the closed set, F star is an open set. Also, we know that X belong to F, and F and F, theirs are disjoint, that means they have no element in common. So X belongs to F means X does not belong to F star. Since X does not belong to F star, X belongs to the complement of star, which is nothing but X minus F star. So we can say that the set X minus F star is an open set containing the point X, okay? Now here again, we will apply the regularity, the regularity of the space. Since X is regular, therefore, there exists an open set, say, ZX, such that 
x belong to the open set gx and gx obviously gx is the subset of its closer and which is again a subset of x minus f star we call this equation number one we call this equation number one Then, if I take z is equal to the collection of all the z x such that x belong to f union x minus f, then z is an open cover. of the paracompact space x now we have found an open cover z of the paracompact space x therefore by the definition of paracompact space just now i have given you you will find therefore there exists there uh, therefore there exists a locally connected open cover a uh, locally connected open isocell refinement say it's of the open cover z X. This is straight from the definition of paracompactness. Let us consider a collection, say, H lambda, such that this lambda belong to the index set. This collection be a collection of members of H, which says. non-empty intersection with F. Let U be the union of is lambda says that lambda belong to the index set we call this equation number two here it's an every is lambda is an open set therefore their union u is also an open set so then u is an open set containing f that is f is a subset of u let bv x minus union of closure of H lambda such that lambda belong to the index set. Now its H lambda is open set therefore its H lambda closure is closed set the union of this is again closed set therefore x minus this closed set is open therefore B is open. So we assert that we assert that B is an open set. We assert that B is an open set. Containing F 
star such that the intersection of u and b is empty this is what we assert okay. since the collection is lambda such that lambda belong to the index set is a sub collection of the locally finite collection it therefore this sub collection is lambda such that lambda belong to the index set is also locally finite as such union of is lambda closer such that lambda belong to the index set is equal to union of is lambda such that lambda belong to the index set whole thing closer therefore b is equal to x minus union of is lambda closer such that lambda belongs to the index set can be written as x minus union of is lambda such that lambda belong to the index set this whole closer now x minus a closed set is an open therefore this b is an open set therefore b is an open set obviously u intersection b is empty because b is equal to x minus union of is lambda bar such that lambda belong to the index set which is further equal to x minus union of is lambda such that lambda belong to the index set hold closer this is equal to x minus this must this must is if i use equation number one this must be u this is u so u closer and we know that u intersection x minus u closer is always empty so we have already found an open set b such that u and b are disjoint that means they have no element in common so in order to complete the proof all we have to do now is to prove that f star is a subset of b for any lambda belong to the index set s lambda is a subset of zx for some x belonging to z therefore for s lambda belong to the index set sx bar is a subset of zx bar is again a subset of x minus f star if we use equation number one this is by equation number one using one this implies union of uh, this is not x this is lambda is lambda bar such that lambda belong to the index set is still a subset of x minus f star this implies if i transpose this on the right hand side and this on the left hand side it becomes 
f star is a subset of x minus union of is lambda such that lambda belong to the index set. This is nothing but B. That is F star is a subset of B. Thus, so far we have found to close this joint subset U and B of X satisfying the condition that our f is a subset of u and f star is a subset of v. Thus, we have found two disjoint open sets U and B such that F is a subset of U and F star is a subset of B. Hence, X is normal. So, that's all for today. I hope you have understood whatever I have taught you today. If you have any difficulty, you can always call me and I'll explain to you everything. Thank you very much.